Hi, yeah. Basran. Hi, Ramya. I have experience on QA, mostly manual testing for 11 years working in okay. Wipro. Okay. So just I wanted to start with RPA developer with UiPath automation. So here What's I need some basics right. to start up with this. Okay. So uh, and, uh, one thing, Ramya, uh, since you are completely into manual testing role, obviously a coding part will be very less in your regular day-to-day -day job. So yes. Uh, basics program will definitely you so if you have seen if all the program all the tasks it will not cover only one topic it will cover two to three topics at one instance so you will be able to understand how to connect on the topics and how to make sure like in a scenario where you are given a task how to mix and match multiple activities so often people will ask okay you said me that this is the activity and this is how how to use it but how will i know how to use this in a scenario but that particular issue will be resolved and you will never ask that question again in this program yeah, the main, I face the issue with variables, where exactly, exactly to view a same. Exactly, yes, exactly. So these are like uh, day one and day two activities, Ramya. The major reason is people don't understand the tool first and directly jump into some video where they are trying to explain you something. Like even if you watch my videos, on the day one, you will not be able to understand because my videos are mostly for advanced developers. Yeah, I worked on selling Salesforce I'm working on. Okay. I okay. started with UI path to automate, but mm. exactly where to use the variables how to invoke the things, exactly. assign the exactly. things. These exactly. are the things I'm facing a lot. Exactly. So that's what uh, you'll be able to solve and get things done over here. Yeah, that was the thing I need more here. Yeah. Hands-on experience. I'll give my best because of I'll be working right. So yeah. hope I'll work. Definitely. 